uh, see today uh, today's plan is to discuss on the second method to find out the forces in the members of a truss that is mother of sections uh, see here there is a running some red line you see generally the section should not cut more than this anyway we'll come back to that procedure uh, see when can we use this mother of sections so that is very important thing which we would like to know uh see if at all i have a, let us say the lengthy truss which consists of a lot of members for example so 10 12 or 15 or 16 something like that there are more number of members in a given truss and likewise there are many trusses you see when you think of a structure uh in the structure we will have mostly the roof and below the roof we will we'll come across with the Uh, some number of trusses like let us say in any some small structure you think of um, so below the roof it may consist of uh, uh, seven ten or something like that if it is a lengthy one it may be it will be more than that right so there are a lot of trusses you can see and uh, uh, what the industry people will do is they will do the calculations of all the forces in the members and you know, they have to design a truss no so that means um the a, a member is there and of course uh, above which i have the loading and due to that loading uh, uh we will design the uh, truss members based on at a, each and every joint uh, how could be the forces act and accordingly how much will be the force will develop in a member so once if you decide the shape of this uh, truss we have different types of trusses also like french roof truss and king truss queen truss king post truss so lot of trusses you might have learned in your uh, engineering mechanics right so with with all these uh, types of uh, trusses you will have this shape every truss will have a different shape right and uh, once this shape means the configuration of the truss is fixed and with that configuration and do the loading acting on the uh, truss what will be the forces in the individual members we need to calculate so once we calculate the forces accordingly we can design the members like uh, uh what do you say i mean uh, uh, we used to use a steel uh, members in, in general so how much is the size of the member which we have to give and, and all those things it depends on the forces generated in the members right so an industrial an industry person i mean uh, who are designing this they will design the all the member forces and for all these uh, uh trusses it for a structure when you think of a structure there are a lot of uh, trusses right so each truss once again it consists of lot of members as well so once they do this design they want to have a cross check whether my design values and whatever the forces which i have calculated are correct or not so what the people this uh, industry industry design people what they will do is they used to give it to the academicians like we have like let us say iit or our university so uh, various uh, institutes are there there the professors will be there so to the academicians they used to give as a consultancy work some consultancy work and uh, they want to see whether their design values are correct or not so then what these academicians they are also busy right so they are also busy with their uh, uh, research work and teaching and all other things but what they used to do is they once again uh, will not uh, do the calculations of each and every member and for, each, for all the trusses let us take one uh, each one truss uh, maybe for seven trusses are there one truss they will take and 
it may consist of in that trust maybe your 15 16 17 members are there so somewhere in the middle or three member forces they will find out of the of the lengthy trust somewhere in the middle not exactly center i think please understand my words carefully somewhere in the middle portion or maybe anywhere anywhere they can take some or two three member forces they would like to calculate and see what are the values they are trying to attain and these values are getting coincide with the uh, industry people who have calculated the designer who have calculated the values so once it matches that's all fine then they need not do once again the uh, calculation of all the member forces so that will give an idea yes is the member forces are correct seems to be that i mean all the forces would have been correct so that is how uh, a kind of uh, check that i used to do by finding the forces in a limited number of members not necessarily calculating all the member forces right so likewise for each and every trust uh, or over seven trusts in them here and there and in a limited number of members uh, they will calculate and uh, do the check with the designer values and then they put it okay fine okay so that is how this method of section will be useful so if i have a greater number of members say if i have a lengthy trust if i want to find out uh, in a limited number of members that could be done with method of sections okay we are not going to find out all the number forces so that is possible right so how it is possible how it can be done and all will be explained in this class so in this method the frame is divided into two portions by a section line passing through a few members okay so when you have a, a lengthy truss we have to take a section line and that section line will cut the truss into two portions i am saying this please be careful that section line may not divide the truss equally in the left hand side and right hand side need not be at the center anywhere anywhere and where we require to collect the member forces there only take the section and that section has to cut the entire truss into two portions of it divide one another there is no attachment and while you are taking that section line so this is the key point that is generally the section should not cut more than three members so this is very important so as like in method of joints there we have one condition do you remember there at any joint number of unknown forces should not exceed two there it is two unknowns right so in such a way we will take a joint in method of joints but here this is method of sections and okay when you take a section line and section has to cut the uh, truss in such a way that it should not cut more than three members understand that is very important here na huh? more than three and uh, we are going to use three equations here at the bottom of this uh, slide you see sigma m equal to 0 sigma f h equal to 0 and sigma f p equal to 0 three equations we are going to use so three unknowns are okay more than three unknowns we cannot solve it right so that is why the section should not cut more than three members we will see that when you would try to solve a problem we may understand in a better way so include in the one the critical parameter include in the one in which stress is required to be determined you know uh, sometimes we may need to find out one member force let us say somewhere in the middle but at the one member force kaga we cannot simply cut one member we may need to cut another two members which we we need not require to calculate even then it has to it is supposed to be then only the trust can be divided into two portions notice i am not saying two equal portions two portions of the divide one renda pirikano 
அந்த பெருக்கத்துக்கு வந்து சம்டைம்ஸ் வி மே இட் மே காட் இன் ஒன் ஒன் மெம்பர் சாரி வேர் வி நீட் டு கலெக்டேட் ஓன்லி ஒன் மெம்பர் பட் ஈவன் தென் இட் இஸ் இட் ஆல்சோ கட் அதர் டூ மெம்பர்ஸ் which are not required to calculate uh, in our aim but still we need to do that right so equation of one portion either to the left or to the right uh, of the section is to be considered so one portion we have to consider renda divide pannadukapram after that any one of the portions we can consider then moments are taken at a suitable point where all forces except one meet so this point may be very critical to follow now but we can understand in a better way when i take up a problem don't worry about this you know what it is saying is moments are taken at a suitable point where all forces except one meet you know if a one member force which i require to calculate so that member may pass through definitely it will pass through some joint so you should not take the moment about that joint if you require to calculate that member force we should not take the moment about that joint or about which that member is passing through we need to take about other joint then we can get the member force which is not passing through this joint that what it is uh, specifying moments are taken at a suitable point and they will join that where the all forces ellame get meet and except one meet and the except one meet and the force we can calculate we will see that uh, don't worry it is simple only but when you try to solve the problem i will once again explain this point in a clear manner so now with the help of equations of statics force in various numbers are determined by equating either sigma m equal to 0 sigma or sigma f h equal to r sigma f h so these three equations we will try to make use not necessarily we have to use all the three equations it all depends we may use any two or maybe one also maybe enough it depends if i want to calculate one member force out of all these three one equation may be enough right so uh, and which is convenient we can use that right so you will understand uh, it may looks like a theory but don't worry those points about those points you know you take up a problem you will see that then i already said uh, the advantage of madra sections this method is more useful if the stresses in a limited number of members only are to be found i already said that if there are con- the trust consists of uh, 15 16 or 17 members more number of members are there but still i do not want to calculate all the member forces i want to calculate only limited number of member forces like 3 4 something like that it is possible with the mother of sections so that is where uh, this you know if you um, if you think in this direction so that we will understand how this method is going to be advantage okay as i already said if a trust consists of let us say or 16 members now out of all these 16 members somewhere in the middle i need to calculate the forces or any member forces i want to calculate suppose if you try to make use of method of joints so in method of joints to find out those two member forces for example uh, those two members are passing through a particular joint where there are two more other members let us say so then it becomes four unknowns so you cannot take directly that joint to, to find out these two member forces because there are four unknowns i already said no in madra joints the number of unknowns should not exceed two so what could be then we have to Uh, proceed either from any one of the ends like uh, left end down the joint here and there and you have to proceed one by one and once you proceed towards the center from one of the ends of the truss and by that time only we could able to calculate some other member forces then 
uh, what are the two members which we require to collect it by that time only if you take that particular joint it becomes like the only two unknowns because we have taken the previous joints and we found out all those things and uh, then only uh, it comes to that uh, these two unknowns yes, then you can take the uh, uh, those equations about that joint sigma f equal to sigma f is equal to you can calculate that right so what what is happening there is even though the other members are not required for us to calculate, we are wasting our time in calculating the other member forces, which is not asked even. Right? So, we can minimize our time. That is what the great advantage of this method of sections, where if I need to collect it only two or three members somewhere in the middle of the dress, directly take a section there itself and find out those two member forces or three member forces. So we can we can save a lot of time with this method of sections. So that is what uh, it has a great advantage in that sense. So the method the method enables the stresses in a member of a simple frame to be calculated without first calculating the stresses in a greater number of other members. That's what I said now. So without first calculating other unwanted member forces. And wasting that time without doing that directly take a section where I need to calculate we can do that okay so this these are all the these two uh, advantages which we have uh, with the method of sections so let us take a problem how one can proceed uh, to solve these member forces with method of sections okay so when you look at this Determine the magnitude and nature of forces in the members BC, uh, BF. You can see this in the diagram. BC, this horizontal member. Hope you could be able to see the cursor moment. And BF, this vertical member. And uh, CE, this another vertical member. And FP, another horizontal member. They're like a box. This rectangular, which follows the rectangular shape. So I have to calculate these four member forces, okay, by method of sections. Do you understand? So how it could be done? So please, and now I would like to give a more uh, analysis and explanation to you. If I'd like to do with another of joints, let us see what happens, okay? So uh, this uh, B C, so the B C C E F E M D F. Let us take one by one joint. Just I'm trying to make you to understand that how it will be difficult to solve with Madhra joints and how much time we are going to waste uh, with Madhra joints if you require to calculate in this limited number that is in these four members. Basically, this truss has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine member forces. Nine members are there, but out of which we are trying to calculate only these four in the middle, somewhere in the middle, right? So how do you calculate? So we can feel that how this another section is going to be advantage. But if at all, if I try to attempt it with another of joints, what happens? You see now. Okay, so if at all I want to take another of joints, let us say to find out the BC and BF. Either you can take a joint B or joint C or joint F, right? Okay, so if I take joint B, there are total how many forces are there? Uh, one, two, that is a BA member, BF member, B member, TC member. There are four members and one known force of 60 kilometers acting downwards. Total five are there, out of five, four unknowns. So directly by taking joint B, I can't do it. There are four unknowns. I should know only maximum, maximum two unknowns with method of joints. Okay, so leave that joint B. So let me go to the joint F. Joint F flow, F A, F B, F E. There are three members forces. All the three are unknowns now. I do not know any one of these three member forces. So it is also not possible. Then we go for joint E. If I go for joint E, what happens here? Uh, one, two, three, four, right? So once again, there are four unknowns, which is also not possible. 
join C, C, B, C, E, C, D, and one known force. So three unknowns and one known. There are total four, and three are unknown. So it is it is not at all possible to solve this with another of joints directly by taking either joint B or joint C or joint T e or joint F. It is not possible. So before doing uh, with, the, with the, any one of the joints of B, C, E, F, we need to attempt, we need to start either with the joint A or with the joint B. So by taking joint, of course, we have to calculate support reactions. That is also a wasting time. Of course, support reactions are required anyway. Uh, uh, we, we, are, we have to calculate the support reaction. After that, we we'll take a joint A and do the analysis. So once you do the joint A analysis, so we would, we would like to calculate only AB and AF. There are two unknowns. Fine. So we could be able to do that. There are two unknowns. Total four will be there. A joint A and a vertical reaction, horizontal reaction also there. And the hinge support. There is a horizontal load also as external system of loading. So we will have two reactions and joint A. Total four forces will be there. Out of four, two unknowns. And uh, we can be able to proceed with joint A. Then AB we found out and AF also found out. Once if I know AF, then go to the uh, F joint. So out of three, AF is already known. So only unknowns are F E and F B. Yes, beautifully you can proceed uh, to find out uh, this uh, BF force and F E force. Okay. So once if if you are able to calculate uh, F joint. After that, go to the joint B. Then, because when, when we did the, with the joint analysis, AB value is known. When, I, when we did the joint F analysis, FB value is also known. And only two more unknowns, that is BC and B. Yeah, we can do that. So, what is happening here with the measure of uh, joints is, to find out this uh, in the middle member forces, we need to calculate the unwanted member forces which are not asked in the problem. That is, we need to calculate AB, AF, and R. So we are wasting unnecessarily or wasting time in calculating the unwanted member forces. Okay, so th that is what the uh, problem here. So. Uh, I mean, it is not a greater problem, just we are wasting a little more uh, extra time and uh, we can save if you want to do with the matter of sections. Okay, but how this uh, could be done with the matter of sections? Uh, let us see now. Mm, so, I have shown with a, a different color, right? Uh, to identify clearly that what is my requirement? So my requirement is calculating this B, F, B, C, uh, C, and F, T member forces, the box. So as usual, we have to calculate support reactions. So that is the first step which we are supposed to do. Either you are using method of joints or you are using method of sections. We cannot omit this, right? So do this. So let us take sigma f h equal to zero. And when you think of a roller support, I already said we will have only one reaction which is perpendicular to the plane of rollers provided. The rollers are arranged in a horizontal plane, perpendicular and vertical. So usually the loading will be downward, so that I will assume a four reaction. I will assume I'm saying that I'm assuming at this instance. Once you do the reaction calculations, once we are, when we, whenever we obtain that value as a positive, my assumption of that arrow direction is correct. If you get it as a negative, you are supposed to change that our initial assumed direction to the opposite side. Okay. So once you apply sigma f h equal to zero, because in this support we will have vertical and horizontal. You see that horizontal Lakota, I have not shown the right hand side. And then I look at the entire thrust diagram or, or, or just have a glance of it. Only there is a single uh, external horizontal force that is fatigue remittance, which is acting right hand side. 
வாட் இஸ் தேர் ரியாக்ஷன் சப்போர்ட் என்னது அது தடுக்கும் அப்படி ரைட் ஹேண்ட் சைடு மூவ் ஆகாமல் இருக்கிறதுக்கு சப்போர்ட் தடுக்கணும் ஆப்போசிட் சைடில் தான் ரியாக்ஷன் டெவலப் ஆகும் Even if you assume right hand side, nothing wrong, you can assume you are going to attach a negative, then after that you have to change. So, in this way, some of the things we can avoid, when we have the negative or the other change, just yes, so you can have a glance of it. And right hand side, you can just put a right left hand side reaction. So, now we apply sigma f, h equal to 0 for the entire truss. It is not for the joint, understand this. This is for entire truss, algebra, sum of all. horizontal force is equal to zero okay let us assume our left hand side force is positive okay so ha is a positive then i have only another single horizontal reaction horizontal force that is right hand side minus 30 uh, is equal to zero and with this ha value is 30 kilonewtons is it clear now okay so then now uh, You know, taking moments about A. If I take moments about A, what happens? I will get the reaction at D, the VD vertical reaction. Okay, so let us see. Because the moment uh, of VA, about A is zero. Enough. VA into perpendicular distance about A is nothing. It is passing through joint A itself. The horizontal distance is not. That is the moment of VA about A is zero. So I, and HA also. HA into what is the perpendicular distance? No. So, we will get moments of ha and va values are zeros so these two will not come into picture if i take the moment about a so only one it becomes only one unknown that is vd yes that is what they want this at this instance if i take moment about a directly can get vd value so you see uh, if take this as a center of a circle and many times i was telling you and you take this uh, uh, forward reaction and it becomes an anti clockwise moment right so let us take anti clockwise equal to clockwise moment so vd into perpendicular distance 1.2 plus 1.6 plus 1.2 which is 4 then yeah and any other anti clockwise i think that's all is equal to so with the 30 it's a clockwise only about a If you were there, you have to make this a center of a circle point A. So this is a clockwise. So anti-clockwise is equal to clockwise. 30 into perpendicular distance is vertical distance, 1.2. You know, 30 into perpendicular distance is this. This is what the line of a joint A. This is what the line of joint A. This is perpendicular distance. This is in here the pre distance could be as a board joint and it is not like that. That force into perpendicular distance. will get a moment okay well then we also have another force that is 60 right so with the 60 is acting downwards and make the center of a circle and this force into perpendicular distance about a that is 1.1 second so 16 one point so for this we got vd as 627 now we take sigma v equal to 0 that is va plus vd is equal to 60 then v a equal to 60 minus uh, v d is 27 and we got 33 which means our assumption for the reaction at a direction is correct 33 positive na no? correct and then my v d positive on this so this also this direction of assumption is also correct so once after getting those values you can indicate those things i can i think i forgot to indicate here in this original picture but anyway i have shown here so now what i said uh, i think uh, the section line is missing here i'm sorry uh, okay so hmm. i will tell you uh, i think in well i'm copying it from the slide which i already prepared uh, I, i think the section line i have not uh, grouped in the picture uh, okay so now if you will see the requirement of my unknowns first you focus on that i have to calculate bf fe c and cd to calculate these four members we cannot definitely take a single section line i already said at the beginning itself section should not cut more than three members ena 
after all we are going to use three equations we should not cut more than three so in the four unknowns calculate pannatha kandi oru section line mattum pattadu an solla varu it is not enough but how i can take the section lines so that we need to think carefully so let us say if i take a section line here and also i have to minimize it enna madra sections lo koncham or careful a irukano sometimes vandu we may take more number of sections to find out the this four member forces adum kuda careful a paakano so we have to avoid more number of sections also as far as possible we can minimize the number of sections to minimize can to save our time in calculating these member forces right so for that uh, let me think of what are the possibilities right then if, let us say if i take a section line here and somewhere in the middle like this one section if i cut this just with this section line like this pass through hope we could able to see my cursor movement so if i do a section line like this that section will cut one two three members only fine it is satisfying the condition okay so that is one possible but here this section line is also cutting the unwanted member be fine that sometimes that also happens i am not saying that section should not cut the member which we do not want to calculate it will cut it may cut but we are not going to calculate that right as far as possible we will try to uh, omit in calculating that sometimes we may require that also sometimes very rarely right so and uh, see here if i take say one section line here i could able to calculate pc and fc fine but what about uh, bf and uh, ce so to calculate a bf definitely the section should cut a bf line but how what is the possibility is uh, if i take this way let us think the other way if i take a hope you could able to see my cursor movement if i take a section line like this which is passing through bc be bf and af then what happens 1 2 3 4 it is cutting four members no it is also not possible we have to avoid that okay or else uh, you, we can think in another way like uh, uh, you see if i take a section line like this if i take a section line like this uh, it is cutting ba bf and fe yes i can do this way i can calculate bf member force and fe also so this is one possibility by taking a section line like this and similarly if i take another section here another section line here that is also cutting a cb ce and uh, uh, ed and there i i can calculate cb and the ce and this section line is also cutting only three members not more than three right so fine so with this section line uh, uh, it, it is cutting bf and fe and with this another section line is cutting the cb and the ce and initially i already told you one section line here which is in the middle which is passing through bc be and fe so in that also we could able to calculate bc and fe so the but, but this bc and fe values if i take a section line here i can take i can calculate fe member if i take another section here i can calculate cb also so Uh, with this uh, one section line like this inclined section and here also another inclined section these two sections are enough to calculate all these four member forces that is bf fe uh, ce and uh, cb and the middle section line i already said na the beginning that is not required you know in the section edikumbodhu i can calculate fe value in the section edikumbodhu i can calculate a cb value and when you take a section in the middle like this what we could be able to do is bc and bf but with these two section lines you could be able to calculate fe and cb so the middle section is not required so this is what first we need to do a little exercise uh, the planning which is called as a planning exercise in taking the section lines 
so unnecessary you know, we will we will take uh, additional sections which are not required now so only two sections are enough here to calculate these two four these four members so let us take the first section here so this is dividing this thus into two portions i already said if I, if i take a section here that is dividing into two portions so you see here uh, i have considered the left portion of this we the sectioning get draw panna left portion anna the paring a a line ab line then uh, we have fb line we also have fb line so we have this section line here and what we have to do is i have considered left portion and above that portion with a dotted line so you can indicate the neighboring uh, joint please don't forget that you know in the section line if you take na in the section ki mele irukka the portion for the dotted line is the b in the f e dotted line thoda b kaam chach if you cut pannad illaya so above that i have the joint b inge cut pannum bodu after f i have the joint e so that also with the dotted lines here we have to indicate neighboring joints so don't forget to indicate neighboring joints but for the rest of the portion with the dotted lines so now i have considered the left portion of section 11 and sorry ke 11 kaamik mudiyilla but i will correct it and uh, probably in the google classroom i will get that i show you the well, level copying it I, i have not noticed it it was not copy okay so what to how to do is i i have taken this portion right in the portion la panna pananu so for taking moments about b ipo i already said one point in the beginning of the other sections when i was trying to explain moment should be chosen in such a way that where greater number of members are passing through that joint except one so inge paarenga a b f b then these two members are passing through joint b except a c member understand so inge mottama pathina 1 2 3 are there so i need to calculate f e member sorry uh, inga rendu id f b so f b member and f e member idha vandu in the question lo ketirukanga in the in the in the section ni cut pannum bodu these two are required now so if i take the uh, moment about b what happens is the ab member force and fp member force will not come into picture in a moment edukkum bodu moment of ab about the joint b is in a perpendicular sense illa illa zero similarly moment of fb uh, force about joint b in a horizontal distance illa it is passing through joint b itself so that the moments of ab force fp force about b becomes zero i can get a single unknown which is a fe so please mark these arrows also like a tensile all these are all tensile arrows okay so if i take moments about b what is happening and i see f f e about b in the center which comes it is moving like this anti clockwise anti clockwise moving f f e in the perpendicular sense the side is 1.2 i'm sorry i have not indicated here i think in the you see this height of the truss 1.2 okay uh see and please remember in this picture i have not indicated this uh, distance also this is 1.2 inge this is 1.6 please remember that the height is 1.2 so a f is 1.2 f is uh, 1.6 so please keep it in your mind and the height of the truss is 1.2 so a f is 1.2 f is 1.2 so with this when you take moments about b uh Yes, yes, three into one point two vertical distance is equal to, and uh, you see with this reactions, I I already said. Uh, see, you know what we have to do is you know, be careful. When I have considered the left portion of the section, in the left portion, whatever the forces are there, we are supposed to indicate those forces. That is, in a joint T L O, I have the reactions H E and V. We should indicate those values. don't forget that adike mele irukku idellame thevai illa i have considered only the left portion and above that portion what we need to show is only the neighboring joint avladha seriya with the dotted lines 
So I have this particular force about B n. You have to get like this clockwise lemma. So 13 to perpendicular distance is height 1.2. Then in the 33 part vertical reaction, it is passing through like this, and once again the clockwise moment only about B. B is the center of a circle. So 33 into perpendicular distance is AF value is 1.2. I already said try to remember. So 33 into 1. So with this, there is a single unknown here and F equal to 63. For example, moment about B decomposed, another force on the Okay, well. Then, yeah, you take uh, sigma uh, H equal to 0, let us say. Sigma H equal to 0. So what is happening, you see? So 30, left-hand side force. And the right hand side forces in an arc in a pattern. So, this is on the FAB. This is on the FAB. So, for this, I will get a cross angle is a horizontal. So, this theta, uh, I forgot to show here. The theta is uh, tan theta equal to opposite side by what? 1.2 by 1.2. Then it is uh, theta is equal to 1. Theta equal to inverse 1. 45 degrees. This is 45 degrees now. So, yeah. so FAB cos theta. Minus and a right hand side. Now they are FFP is also right hand side. So minus FFP. 30 left hand side. So left minus right minus right is equal to 0. So 30 minus FE already I know is 63 minus FAB into cos theta is 1.2 by 1.637 and a diagonal is root of 1.2 square plus 1. There is a 1.637 is equal to 0. And with this I can calculate FAB but AB is not required. It is not asked in the problem, but still, even then, it is required to find out another, mem another member force FB. But yeah, that is why we did that calculation, FAB. So, we, here you see, with this, I got a negative value, which means my assumption here, the arrow is clear, the wrong, that we are supposed to change that arrow. So now we can see the downward arrow, I have changed it to downward arrow, because of the negative sign. You see here, this picture. So once you change that arrow, now you can proceed. So FAB is now I have put a positive value after changing this arrow direction. Okay. So once after getting this FAB, now we can take sigma V equal to 0, 4. Sigma V equal to 0, 4. Now what can I get? You know, FE, FFE, FFE, whereas you know, it is purely horizontal. I can get only FFB. Uh, so uh, see, 33 is acting upward. Uh, FAB is downward. No? So, so, minus FAB sin theta. Upward is equal to positive, downward is negative. So, FAB is sin theta plus FFB is equal to 0. So, then uh, then in that case, FAB already we know and that we can substitute as 46.67. Uh, so, sin theta is 1.2 by 1.677 plus FFB is equal to 0. And FFB, we call it as a zero only. Anyway. Okay, so that's all about uh, uh, calculating this two member forces, render one with one section line here by taking the section. So, is there any other way here? There is another way uh, in the graph sections uh, with this equation. See, I, here I have used that in paragraph. Uh, I use the sigma uh, mb equal to 0 over equation. Let us say if I use the uh, sigma uh, mv equal to 0 for Tina, moment of FFC becomes 0 and is passing through joint Tina, it is 0. Added. But I will get uh, an equation with the two unknowns that is FFB and uh, FAB. So once again, FAB is coming to picture. What I am trying to say is without first calculating the unwanted member force AB, is it possible to calculate directly uh, FE and FB forces? So, what equation on the beautiful? When I take sigma MB equal to 0, beautiful la, or a single equation, la, direct FE value on this, fine. So, when I take moments about B, I could be able to collect it directly at the value. Similarly, is it possible to find out the FB, this vertical member force, with any other way without first calculating the AB member force? Other than a paper, the 
whatever i did the procedure yeah, apart from that is there any other way so uh, you would take uh, even a moment about everything na fb varad we can't take moment about uh, about a f so let us say if i take moment about uh, a what happens if i take moment about a is it possible to calculate a fb without calculating ab tell me anybody is it possible okay are you people are there are left the meeting hello could you able to understand my question See, there are there are simplest ways ipo na inge calculate panna procedure mattum na procedure na sollala sometimes i may use unnecessary unwanted steps also i'm not saying that i'm so brilliant i will use very cleverly and minimize the time and all i did some mistakes not not the mistakes i also wasted time here in calculating the e unwanted ab member force but still there is a way without first calculating the ab member force directly i can calculate fb i rain mane pannita but i want to see the answer from you is there is any way without first calculating the ab member force shall i proceed to calculate fb member directly ena ipo fc paarengala fc eppadi vandathu if i take moments about b so direct fc value vandichu single equation la fine இப்போ இங்கே என்ன பண்ணால் சிக்மா ஹெச் ஈக்குவல் டு ஜீரோ போட்டால் ஃபஸ்ட்டு இந்த என்டயர் ட்ரெஸ் சிக்மா ஹெச் ஈக்குவல் டு ஜீரோ போட்டால் அதில் எஃப்ஏபி வந்தது அது எனக்கு தேவையில்லை தட் இஸ் நாட் ஆஸ்க் இந்த ப்ராப்ளம் அதுக்கு எஃப்ஏபி கலெக்ட் பண்ணுது அதுக்கப்புறம் ஐ ஹவ் டேக்கன் அனதர் ஈக்குவேஷன் பார்த்தீங்களா ஸோ சேஞ்ச் த டைரக்ஷன் எல்லாம் நடந்தாச்சு தென் ஐ ஹவ் டேக்கன் அனதர் ஈக்குவேஷன் தட் இஸ் சிக்மா வி ஈக்குவல் டு ஜீரோ ஸோ இது பாருங்கள் டூ கலெக்டேட் எஃப்பி வேல்யூ ஆஃப் ஆல் டு கலெக்ட் எஃப்பி வேல்யூ i have taken two equations that is sigma v equal to 0 and before that i have used the sigma uh, fh equal to also 0 புரியுங்கள sigma h equal to 0 or fh horizontal forces is equal to 0 ரெண்டு ஈக்குவேஷன்ஸ் யூஸ் பண்ண انا அதுல வந்து first equationல ab கலெக்ட் பண்ணத அப்புறம் தான் வந்து sigma v is equal to 0 போடும்போது திரும்பி ab வரும் அதுல அதனால தான் அது பண்ணிட்டேன் பாருங்க sigma h equal to 0 முன்னாடி m போட்டேன்னா when i do that i could able to calculate ab force so once i calculate the ab force when i apply sigma v equal to 0 is once again ab term is coming over here so idha epdinaala the ab term inga vandudnaala we cannot avoid and solve it that sigma fh equal to 0 podumbo i can able to calculate ab and the value inga potta so here i did two steps of sigma fh equal to 0 and sigma fh equal to 0 for the whole truss whole truss and in the portion not in that truss i'm sorry in this portion of the so my question is without doing these two steps is it possible to find out fb member force directly with any other way so with this uh, i will stop ena remaining things na solla poradilla adu cd adala neenga calculate pannanum adu ena id understanding romba thevai ungalku is there any other way anybody figure answer pannunga time aichu வரும் but if i take moment about a you think like this if i take moment about a yes beautifully ab member is passing to joint a this unwanted member force so the moment of that ab force about a becomes zero but fb is not passing through joint a fine this this is there in the picture now so if i take moment about a the ab member uh, moment uh, the force of ab member moment about a is zero and 13 to perpendicular is zero 
and 33 into perpendicular distance is zero. In the moon, and the AF also, it is not All these four moments about A become zero. So then F, F, B about A part. This is anti clockwise moment. So F, F, B into perpendicular distance is 1.2. And you see, this F, F, C is passing through joint A only. Joint A only. So the moment of F, F is also zero. So F, F, B into perpendicular distance 1.2 is equal to zero. And F, F, B equal to uh, uh, something, I mean, zero by. A1.2 is 0. So, with a single step, I got the force, uh, member force FT uh, is 0. If I take moment about A. So, with that single step, we can finish that FB member also by avoiding this many uh, steps here. See, we did this here, sigma FH equal to 0, and we did sigma FV equal to 0. And see, of course, here before that, we change the sign, and then sigma V equal to 0. avoid over A step. Moment about A, F, F, B value 0. Finalize 0, then only change. So if you take moment about A, F, F, B into perpendicular distance 1.2 is equal to 0. You know, all these four are passing through joint A, then mom moments of this member force are 0. I am not saying that F, A, B is 0. Understand that. Moment of A, B is 0. I am not saying that A, F force is 0. Moment of A, F force about A is 0. So you have to be very uh, clearly understand my statement. I never said FAB is 0, I never said FAB is 0. The moment of FAB about A is 0. Moment of FAF about A is 0. And moment of 30 km about A is 0. Moment of 33 km about A is 0. You know, the joint of the pass are the perpendicular distances. And F is also passing through joint A. A is the perpendicular distance. So F also is 0. Directly F is the value. So, with the moment equations, we could able to calculate FP and FP. Now, the M Pandana, Parpasa, Pandi, but uh, the, I want to tell you that this is not the only way. There is another clever way you can avoid this sigma F H equal to 0, sigma V equal to 0 steps, and single equation sigma M A equal to 0, we could able to calculate FP value. Okay. And similarly, you take a section in here, the cut point, then uh, on the right portion. So I always try to take less like the left portion would be Right portion is other portion, but in the portion can be other than easy. Less like is the So the same procedure you do here. So I want to calculate a CB and a C. That's what I did here. So do this as a homework for you. Uh, that's what I did here. So I did here. So do this as a homework for you. Anyway, I will upload this. And uh, before looking into this solution, you please try yourself uh, closing the solution. Then you can check it out the answers. Okay, well. So tension compression under already I told you the arrows and the arrows which you get. If you are doing the arrow is the left hand side and the C value in the C value the downward is C value pass to. So near to other joint is one the upward over. So uh, the arrows one the yeah, one down in here, this one up. So it is a tension in here. Here also is the tension only. Uh, what is that? CB also tension only. So near to other joint, we get the arrow. Now, I already told you the arrow directions which you have tension compression. Okay. Yeah. So please go through this. Zero knowledge is the tension or the compression. Please note that. Yeah, wait a minute. I will take that a minute. Sorry, I took extra five minutes. No way. To finish the problem. <clears throat>